Hi, Debbie and Carlos. I know that it is your 25th year anniversary. How does that feel for you? It feels very joyous. <laughs> it's been 25 years of pleasure all the way through. Let's say that it's been mostly pleasure. It's, uh, it's hard to believe it's been 25 years. It's been an incredible journey, uh, not on, only into self-discovery, but into the body as well. Well, it seems like you have an incredible body of work, as it were, with all the people that have followed the Nia technique. Um, saying that this 25 years is a year of, of pleasure, um, what does that mean? What do you dictate within that? Well, for me, the pleasure really started with Nia saying, you must embody joy and you must learn to call on joy and then, and then not only to have it for yourself, but to share it with people, to share it with your students and then to share it with the world. And uh, that's for me has been the greatest gift is the, the way that joy has made the bodies that we have right now. And for me, pleasure was the experience I first felt when I took my shoes off and my body was sending me a message that was something profound that I'd never experienced before. And it was the sensation of pleasure that I felt through my feet from the ground up. And it was something I was never willing to give up again. That's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Um, one thing that I'd like to ask both of you, um, you both look beautiful as people. Uh, do you have any secrets from pleasure that we can garner from you both, because uh, for who you are, I, you guys are ageless. What, what do you do? <laughs> I guess it's just have a good time and uh, uh, laugh a lot, be honest, be real with people. And I think that also I feel incredibly fortunate that joy and pleasure does attract the kind of people that allow me to want to continue to be with them all the time. And then that's been a, a, a source for me. And to me, pleasure is an ageless sensation. And it really is a sensation that allows me to go through my life and to be 57 years old and to understand that my body really can give me great joy and great experiences when I connect to pleasure with my body no matter what I'm doing. Well, 25 years, both of you, congratulations. I would ask one more thing. From someone who might be in a state of non-pleasure, let's say, sickness or whatever, or emotionally hurt, what, do you have any tips you could give to someone that isn't, doesn't know how to connect to the pleasure that you're talking of? Yeah, um, to me, pleasure is an opportunity to accept what is, so that if someone is ill, there is a place of a receptivity, a place of acceptance, and there's a deep place of pleasure in the body. It's not a hype pleasure, but it's a pleasure of being present to one's life, no matter what. Yeah, the suggestion for me, I'm more pragmatic. I always like to say, find a place where you find pleasure. And I've had people that have, can only feel pleasure in one finger, one hand, or just touching. Sometimes it's the invitation to go to a place and it can be very, very small. It doesn't have to be the whole body feeling this amazing pleasure, which can be very scary. So it's just like find a place where you can feel pleasure and then nurture it from that point on. Begin small and pleasure has shown me that once you find that entry point, it can just grow and eventually take over to your entire body. And pleasure is choosing pleasure is a process of empowering oneself to be in charge of any situation. And oftentimes when someone is not feeling the uh, level of wellness that they would like to, they often feel victim, victimized by the experience. And yet choosing to sense pleasure in one's body, no matter what the experience, is a way to feel very empowered. So just last thing. Um, how do you think that you celebrate pleasure? What is your favorite way to celebrate pleasure? And especially in honor of your 25th year of Nia, but how would you celebrate your pleasure ultimately after all this time? Well, I celebrate pleasure every time I move. And it, uh -huh. uh, moving is such a joyful experience. And I receive so much personally as well as physically that that really is how I can celebrate um, the sensation of pleasure and also the experience of living a pleasurable life, uh, dancing through life. I celebrate 
pleasure the moment that I wake up in the morning and then I immediately tune into my body and then I let all of my other senses provide me that rich sense of pleasure, that rich nutrient, that richness of pleasure. And then uh, if I could celebrate it, it would be to bring together all the people that I have ever danced with since I started Nia. I mean, I envision this amazingly huge room with everybody since, who, since 1980 took my first Nia class all the way through last night. That would be my celebration. And I can do that in other realms. Thank you.